Just giving you guys an update. Just showing you that the companies that you know and love are dead. The material that they're putting out is dead on arrival. And I'm of the opinion that you shouldn't even try it when they give you something non-woke. You should not even give that shit the time of day because all you do is end up subsidizing future projects that is. Let them die. If he dies, he dies. Let him die. But Gotham Knights, and I ain't talking about the video game. I'm talking about Gotham Knights, the show. <sighs> is getting... It's... So you remember it got announced before. I can't remember if it got announced. I think it did get announced before we heard that the CW. I can't remember it. I could have this wrong. But before the CW was basically, they were saying it's up for sale. Okay. But this, despite that, despite those. Okay, CW basically conceding that they have look, man, they don't really got a lucrative product there, man. They got it'll be a show or two that people like find decent, and then there's ten of them that are just dog shit. And a lot of them are associated with Dead Company, aka DC. But as reported by the Hollywood Porter reporter, the pilot did still get greenlit, so they don't give a shit. I mean, they're gonna still put it out. But this is the the important part. This comes from bad woman writers. And this is a picture of them all right here. Um, Natalie Abrams, uh, who clearly is looks exactly how I would envision a bad woman writer is. But this these people who have produced something that was so dead on arrival and then got worse, right? They made it worse with the whole. You know, you tokenize, you had a tokenized a show based on a tokenized character, and then you tokenized the tokenized character. Um, and all you cared about was promoting sexuality and other shit that nobody really cared about, nobody was interested in. When people fail upwards, that's your cue that this has nothing to do with merit. And now you should have known that, but. You should especially understand that now we get more and more example of people that should never have been. You think this was like, OK, you got to go work your way back up the ranks when you work your way up and then you get rewarded with something that is so bad and that you wrote that people are utterly rejected. You should go back to work, having to work your way back up and prove that, you know, uh, you you what you getting in the position that you got in wasn't a fluke. But that's not what happens with the current kind of approach to Hollywood and a lot of the mainstream brands, every industry seems to be dealing with this or not every industry, every, every mainstream thing, whether it be with uh, entertainment. So star Wars, Marvel, DC, it's all going doing the same shit where a lot of people fail up with, you get rewarded for producing, producing dog shit. Yet they got rewarded. It says Warner Bros. TV and Berlanti Productions are producing this uh, upcoming uh, uh, Gotham Knights. Five Ish and, and Stostro are our executive producers, and Greg Berlanti, Sarah uh, Schechter, and David Madden. Uh, it says Dan Danny Cannon will direct and executive produce the pilot. Abrams, who is married to the Hollywood Reporter West Coast. TV editor Leslie Goldberg. So she is a lesbian. Um, surprise. Uh, is a co-executive producer. So she's a co-exec. So she's an executive producer. Um, even though she produced a wrote Batwoman. Oh, we've heard about this. This is Zorro. Um, and that's... Uh, they, there's not been a decision made to still go with that. And this was the one about the Latinx. <laughs> Latinx Zorro. <laughs> but yeah, despite all these issues that they're having, um, they are still going to green light. <laughs> they're still going to green light this shit. 
And it's the people that made something that was already dog shit for the same company are getting rewarded. Look, let them die, bro. I think the best we can do is have one person keep up with it at best. Like, look, don't watch this shit. Let, like, ass suffer through all of that. And you watch his review of it. Uh, and that's it. I think that should be kind of the the approach here with really anything it is that they produce. You certainly won't see me reviewing any of this shit because I'm not interested uh, at all. I won't review. I'm not reviewing anything coming out from Marvel or DC movie or not. I'm just I told y'all I'm done. But just let them die, bro. Just let them go. Just they're done. Stop clinging on to your, you know, oh, my child, my childhood. I used to love these brands so much. I have so many good memories. Just stop. It's done. It is not the company that you thought you once knew. They may have control of the properties and what's going on in the future. But these companies are fucking dead. And they've been hijacked by social uh, uh, justice advocates who cannot. The First of all, they're not even talented. But. They don't even understand universal concepts are really good and evil. They don't they don't know that they're they're not good at what it is they do. And because the corporate big figureheads have gotten main bad information from people that look like. What's her name? The the lesbian that's writing Batwoman, uh, Natalie Abrams, uh, telling them that, hey, this is the way of the future. This is what people want, because we we surveyed Twitter and Instagram which is full of cosplayers and normies that don't actually really it's hit or miss with them. If there's a medium that you can get away with them being supporters of, it's usually TVs or movies, uh, comic books. Good luck. That's not going to happen. But even then they're one of the most flake flaky audiences that you could find. So just, just if you have to, Oh, I want to know what's going on with it. Just listen to ads or something. And and just don't don't even give the guys the viewership. It's not even worth it. You just listened to a clip from my podcast for Cannon's sake, which is live throughout the week at 12 p.m. Central on YouTube.com slash Young Ripper 59 and Odyssey.com slash at Young Ripper 59. Be sure to check out my website, EricDJuly.com, so you can stay up to date with everything it is that I'm doing. You can also become a member and get access to a bunch of cool perks and exclusive content, which includes a social media hub where you can interact with myself and other members. It even has an app that you can get, which is now live in the Google and Apple stores.